from Ottawa. Van Cleek Hill, Ontario. That's out of Ottawa. About halfway to Montreal. Alright. Hey there, beer tubers. Welcome back to Maxwell Stars Beer Review. We got the Sith eating ice cream. We got Fuzz in a green shirt. And we got High School Mighty who brought us this lovely beer that was donated to us by Ryan, I believe. Yes. In a beer trade. Yes, yes. And this is one we've actually been able to sample before, but not review. This is the amazing, the gorgeous Screaming Beaver, Lo Beaver Oak Age Double IPA from Bozo oh, Natural Brewing. You didn't say double IPA when you first entered it. Double, double IPA. Oh. Made with local spring water, organic barley malts, organic hops, brewer's yeast. If there's one thing the fuzz will scream for, it is beaver. Yeah. But not <laughs> double IPAs! 99 IBUs, so it's not quite as strong as some of the IBAs we've had, uh, IPAs we've had on this Keep channel. Keep in mind, the tongue's a little bit around 80. Yeah. Yeah. Van Cleek Hill, Ontario is where this is from, this is, this is from and it, it weighs in at a whopping 9.9% .9 ABV. This is one strong bitch. What's up? Big bottle of beaver. I scream, I big you beaver. scream. We all scream for beaver. Oh yeah. <laughs> well played, sir. Well played. There's a tractor on the cap. As there often is from uh, Bose. Tractor. I'm expecting lots of citrus out of this, even though I'm drinking an orange Julius. How's your blizzard? Oh, my blizzard's fabulous. What did you get for a blizzard anyway? Uh, banana split? Banana split blizzard? I don't know why they have a banana split blizzard. Oh, they do. It's good. I usually get like the Mentorio. They have a banana cream pie one too. It's really this is good. nice looking. Deep amber, yeah. not filtered. Cream pie. Big, big toffee head. You yeah. are sick motherfucker. <laughs> cream pie. Uh, I mean, uh, it's got some nice orange color to it. Is that? Any dregs left? I'll take a dregs this time. Oh, gross. Oh. That's lots of dregs. <laughs> oh yeah, that's gonna It's be like good. nasty. It's like sitting crud at the bottom. This is not a particularly old logo either. So shouldn't have settled Yeah, it's, it says right here, November 26th, uh, 2012. So while it was made last year, it's only like, it's only like two, two months, months old. old. Yeah. So looking at that, nice creamy head, really appetizing color, very deep colored for, it's like a brown kind of amber color uh, for an IPA. But it looks like, it looks like caramel. Let's see how it smells like caramel. Mm. I doubt it smells like caramel. No, 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 no. Pineapple. No. Yeah, pineapple. Doesn't pineapple. Like caram caramel. Maybe a little pineapple. Caramel. Like caramel. Pineapple. Grapefruit. Really? Oh yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Definitely poison. <clears throat> definitely poison. You oh said. yeah. Definitely. It's actually quite mild for a double IPA. Well, it's only nine. Hey, it's IBU. also it's also oak aged <laughs> and we've we had one record had... of one eighty. So dude. <laughs> we had the uh, the uh, Oak Age version of the, Bear, the Beaver River, the step down from this. And yeah, it was the same one. Yeah, it was it was kind of muted for an IPA. So this one here is coming off as mainly uh, mainly yeah. mainly tropical kind of smells. Yep, it smells nice to me. Yeah, it smells nice, but it is it's not like a lot of smell coming off. No, a little bit of caramel in the back. Smell? Smell. All right, down the hatch. Now, now from the poison hatch. Oh, that's a very nice. Nice. Smoothie. You have the hot bites there, but you get a lot of that, that oh. malt backbone and caramel and toffee and this is almost like a roasted bitterness along with it. For 99 IB, for 90 IBUs, or 99 or however many it was, oh, this is pretty well balanced. There's nice, nice big strong sweetness, nice caramel that balance out. It is very, hot. very, very well balanced. I mean, it, kind of, it, it doesn't hit you like a sock and like a punch, but it does sort of build. Yeah, it. Um, I mean, the hops are there. All that 99 IBUs are there. It's just that it takes a second for it to really kick in, and it's not so big of a shock to you. You feel like maybe you're not drinking such a strong IPA, and but then you do. all of it's there. Oh, and you, you really, really much do. It really gets you get it at the end. And, yeah. and it sneaks up on you, but it gets you. You can even pick up a little bit of that wood, having, too. Having mm -hmm. a lot of sugar right before taking a sip of that is a bad idea. No, no, it's not a bad idea. Why? Why would you say it's a bad idea? I actually like it. I had I had a bite of uh, candy cane blizzard there. I could tolerate after that. Mm -hmm. Oh, it it had a nice nasty punch at the end for me. You know what? I like it. It kind of reminds me a lot of like the Weyerbacher dog, double Simcoe a little. A little toned down from that. But, yeah, yeah, definitely a little toned down from that. But you get uh, along with some extra things like maybe a hint of like vanilla and some, definitely a lot of wood. Yeah, the malt presence on this is pretty huge. To the, the, it's options. definitely East Coast. Mm -hmm. Anyway, yeah, you like the lid. <laughs> give it a number. You give it a number. 
Um, yep. I, I really don't enjoy it. I, I, it's got a lot of pineapple up front, which I like, but I don't like the really, really rough, rough, rough aftertaste I'm getting from that. So I can only give it a two five. Two five. Holy cow. I liked it a lot better than that. Um, Fuzzy, you want to spill your guts here, don't you? What do you think? Yeah, I want to spill my guts. How many All poisons are five? Uh, 1.75 poisons. 1.75 Ooh, poisons. Well, wait, it's right. actually really low yeah. for poisons. Yeah, I mean, like, so if it's, a, if it's a poison, you have to reverse the number to 3.5. Yeah, so it's seven to point. Three point, or yeah. Five. yeah, three point so, two. Yeah. No, three 1.75 five. Five out of 5 is what you would give yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. 1.75. So then he'd uh, give it 3.25 poisons. That's right. I'm interested in seeing what, what Heist Almighty has to say about this. I'm going to say four. Four? Yeah. Yeah, I'll agree with you. I think this is probably my new favorite Ontario level. Yeah. Um, I don't know. The, the Double Mad Tom was pretty good, too. Double Mad Tom was really good, and so was... It wasn't OK... Uh, was it uh, Ten Bitter Years? Wasn't that double? Yeah, I guess, but it was kind of its own thing. Mm. It's definitely really good, and I would drink that again in a heartbeat. Um, over a lot of maritime made IPAs, but it's, you know, I wanted a nice yeah, big, it's good. If I wanted one that was big and thick and creamy and, and sweet, this would yeah. be the one to go with. It's definitely a great IPA, and I would definitely seek it out again. Uh, maybe it's not for everybody, double IPA is hard we are. Well, we're not all going to scream for beaver, but... <laughs> Some people just don't like the beaver. Oh, uh, I like the beaver, it's just... You two are talking. You just don't like the beaver screaming, huh? <laughs> you two are the ones that are talking about the woody and the creamy. Just saying. Just saying. We we like the beaver. Like, I like, like the beaver. He didn't like the taste. pork slap either. <laughs> all right. Cheers all right. to beaver. Cheers to everyone. Thanks for watching Maxwell Stars beer reviews of Bo's All Natural Growing Screaming Beaver. We'll talk to you folks later. Cheers. Uh, I don't know. I like the beaver. Wow, that's a great giant.